Hi, my name is Heather Zeichel. I'm a member of the Energy and Environmental Team for the Presidential Transition Team. Um, I was looking online today and uh, after our earlier discussions this week about energy and environmental policy, we got a whole host of really exciting ideas and questions and I thought it'd be fun to take a few minutes to answer some of the comments we received. Michael from Olympia, Washington wrote in um, asking some questions about auto manufacturing and how we can achieve the aggressive goals that President-elect Obama identified during the campaign. Um, he set forth a, a really aggressive goal of, of putting a million American-made plug-in hybrids on the road by 2015. Um, and he asked exactly how's that going to happen. It's an exciting question to ponder and I think as um, you know we read the newspaper every day and you know there there's some questions about the viability of the auto industry as a whole um, you know I think what you've heard from President-elect Obama is the fact that we need to work directly and be a strong partner um, to the auto industry and help them retool their plants so that they can build the cars, trucks, and SUVs of the future. He's proposed um, uh, up to fifty billion dollars in, in uh, retooling assistance so that we can build these advanced technology vehicles. Um, in addition to, to working directly with the, uh, the auto manufacturers, we need to make sure that consumers can afford those. And to help with affordability, he's proposed up to $7,000 tax credit. Um, this is something that a consumer can go out, purchase a hybrid, and you get the $7,000 tax credit and bring the, the cost of the vehicle down. Um, you know, another big piece of the transportation policy and something that uh, President-elect Obama talked about during the campaign was the need to also invest in mass transportation. Our cars, our buses, I mean, every day I get on the bus to come to the office, it's packed full of people, um, and we know we need to increase the availability and um, the, the um, environmental performance standards of a lot of our existing fleets. So that's something that he's going to look at in terms of the transportation budget, in terms of DOE budget, and figure out how we can um, make the investments we need to do to improve mass transit across the country. Another question, obviously, as we talk about energy policy, we received a whole uh, host of, of questions about alternative energy. And that's something that Obama spoke a lot about during the presidential campaign. And again, there has a very aggressive commitment to make sure that 10% of our electricity comes from renewable resources by 2012. Uh, and he's going to do that by providing production tax credits to ensure we're building the, you know, wind farms, uh, solar energy plants, and uh, in, in getting the transmission right so that we can bring these new sources of energy online. Um, you know, Todd from Plantation Florida asked specifically, why are we not using the most powerful source of energy, the sun more? And I think, you know, the answer to Todd is we absolutely are dedicated to using more, uh, more solar energy. You know, we talk a lot about our need to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And the sun, solar energy, provides a tremendous resource, uh, greenhouse gas emissions free. So uh, I think you'll see an Obama administration really focused on the, the policy tools we need, to, um, we need to utilize in order to increase the use of solar energy across the board. Uh, the, the last question um, that caught my eye uh, this afternoon is from Erin in Pennsylvania. And she asks specifically, what's the possibility of turning the White House green? Um, you know, that's something uh, that, that uh, President-elect Obama has thought a lot about. Um, and when he, uh, back in August, when he rolled out his comprehensive energy plan, specifically set an aggressive goal. I mean, if you think about the, 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 the federal government and what we spend on energy, our energy bill in fiscal year 2008 was over $14 billion. Uh, so we're spending a whole lot of money uh, powering our buildings, um, our automobile fleets, and we know we can do better. So he um, specifically laid out goals for you know new buildings. He wants those to increase in efficiency by 40% for all new federal buildings. Um, but we know we also have a lot of buildings already out there. So 
we need to retrofit what we have um, and increase by 25% the efficiency in our buildings. Thank you very much for your questions. We are really excited to read them and hear your thoughts and comments, and we hope to hear more from you in the days and weeks ahead.